Hey, boys and girls, I've got another book for you for today. This book is a true story, so that would make it a nonfiction book. The title of the book is called Lonnie Johnson, NASA Scientist and Inventor of the Super Soaker. Ooh, take a look at that cover. That's Lonnie Johnson. He's a scientist. And do you know what he's holding? That's a water gun called the Super Soaker. Let's read this book and learn a little bit more about that. Oh, and look at this. We have a table of contents here, and this is going to tell us some of the things that we're going to read about. Hmm, I'm just going to take a quick look at this. It says, get wet? What? Early life, young inventor. Oh, he's an inventor too. Hmm, well, let's just jump right into the book. It says, get wet. Whoosh. A rush of water streams from a super soaker. Playing with this water toy is a great way to stay cool on hot summer days. And you see a picture of a boy with the super soaker. Look at that. Oof. Lonnie Johnson has invented many things. One of his most popular inventions is the super soaker water gun. Some of his inventions help solve complex problems. Some are fun. And you can see down here, I'm going to make this a little bit larger. Lonnie Johnson in front of the super soaker wall at his company. Look at all those water guns. That looks like a lot of fun. And it says the super soaker can spray water dozens of feet. Ooh. Now, the title of this section says early life. So I bet we're going to read about Lonnie Johnson as a child. Lonnie Johnson was born on October 6, 1949 in Mobile, Alabama. As a young boy, Lonnie watched his father fix things around the house. Lonnie liked to repair things too. Oh, look at this. When he was 13, Lonnie attached a lawnmower to his go-kart racer. He raced it along the road until a police officer stopped him. And that's his go-kart. That's his real go-kart from the 1950s. Oh, look at this. These are Lonnie's parents, David and Arlene Johnson. And it says, Lonnie's father, David, worked as a driver at an Air Force base. His mother, Arlene, was a nurse's aide. She also worked in a laundry business. Lonnie's parents picked cotton at a nearby farm to earn extra money. Ooh, the title of this section says Young Inventor. When he was young, Lonnie liked to take his toys apart and put them back together. Lonnie took apart his sister's doll. He wanted to see how the doll's eyes opened and closed. And look, there's a picture of him right here. As far as I can remember, I was interested in devices and how they worked, said Lonnie Johnson. And that's a picture of him at the age of 11. Lonnie's parents supported his interests. One day, Lonnie tried to make rocket fuel on top of the stove. It started a fire, but Lonnie's parents were not angry. Instead, they bought him a hot plate and told him to do his experiments outside. Hmm. Now, look at this. At the bottom, here's someone you probably know a little bit about. This is George Washington Carver. He was born in 1864, and he died in 1943. And it says, one of Lonnie's role models, or heroes, was George Washington Carver, a, another black inventor. Life in Alabama. Lonnie attended Williamson High School in Mobile. It was an all-black school. In the 1960s, many schools in Alabama were segregated, which means black students couldn't go to the same schools as white students. And you can see a picture here. It reads at the bottom, Alabama schools were segregated in the 1960s. 
But here's a picture of Lonnie and his robot. Lonnie's award-winning robot was named the Linux. In 1968, Lonnie went to a science fair at the University of Alabama. He made a robot for the competition. Lonnie won first place. And Lonnie's friends called him the professor. College and beyond. Let me make this a little bit larger here. It says Lonnie's love of inventions continued after high school. He received a scholarship to attend Tuskegee University in Alabama. There, he earned a bachelor's degree in mechanical engineering. He's a scientist. Then he earned a master's degree in nuclear engineering. To get all those degrees from college, you must be very smart. I'm guessing Lonnie's very smart. And here's a picture of Johnson. Lonnie Johnson is a student at Tuskegee University. It says years after he graduated Tuskegee University, oh, years after he graduated Tuskegee University gave Johnson an honorary doctorate in science. He must have been super smart. Wow. Tuskegee University was founded as a school for black students in 1881. It's a very famous and very important, not just a college, but it's a university. So that's after high school, boys and girls. Then it says, after college, Johnson worked as a research engineer, a scientist, at the U.S. Department of Energy's Oak Ridge Laboratory National, Oak Ridge National Laboratory. Then he joined the Air Force. Johnson became a captain in the U.S. Air Force. Ooh, NASA scientist. In 1979, Johnson began working at NASA. He was a nuclear engineer in the Jet Propulsion Laboratory. He worked on many NASA space missions, including the spacecraft Galileo's mission to Jupiter. He also took part in the space probe Cassini's mission to Saturn. And it says here, and I want to show this to you, and make this a little bit bigger. So this is the spacecraft Galileo, and it reached Jupiter in 1995. And NASA, N-A-S-A, stands for the National Aeronautics and Space Administration. And here's NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory in Pasadena, California. And it says Johnson won many awards for his work at NASA. Scientists inside the Jet Propulsion Lab. Look at this. Look at those scientists work. I wonder what they're creating. Now, he, this says fun invention. This is the good stuff. Johnson worked at NASA during the day in his free time. He continued to make his own inventions. One day in 1982, Johnson was at home working on a new invention. He was trying to make a better water pump. Johnson made a high-powered nozzle from the pump and attached it to his bathroom sink. When he pressed the nozzle's lever, a strong stream of water shot across the bathroom. This gave Johnson the idea for the super soaker. Look at that. Johnson used a super soaker outside his home in 1992. And that's a picture of it. But let's look at another picture. Whoa. How a super soaker works. Water is stored in the reservoir. So that's here. The pumping action builds up air pressure. So you pump with this. When the trigger is pressed, it forces out a high-powered stream of water through the nozzle right here. I thought if I had a toy water gun that was really high pressure and something that a small kid could operate, it would really be neat. Making it better. Johnson called this toy the power drencher. Later, he changed the name to super soaker. He also improved the design. 
The first version of the Super Soaker had the water inside the water gun. Later, Johnson moved the water to a bottle on top of the toy. And you can see that bottle right there. And this says Johnson with an early version of his Super Soaker invention in 2010. Johnson wanted to manufacture the water gun himself, but it was too expensive. In 1989, he sold the toy to the Laramie Corporation. The company later became Hasbro. In 1991, the Super Soaker was the best-selling toy in the United States. Look at that. And it says Hasbro is one of the largest toy companies in the world. Mm. Earth-friendly inventions. The Super Soaker became one of the most successful toys of all time. Over the years, the toy has earned $1 billion in sales. Johnson used the money he made from the Super Soaker to work on other projects. He wanted to invent items that help the environment. And here's a picture of Johnson with one of his inventions. Here's another picture. It says Johnson at the Johnson Research and Development Company. Here he is with another invention, it looks like. Wow. Johnson started the Johnson Research and Development Company in Atlanta, Georgia. The company makes rechargeable batteries. It produces engines and clean energy projects. Coal, oil, and gas are called fossil fuels. Fossil fuels can harm the environment, and they are running out. Johnson knows it is important to use new sources of energy. Some of Johnson's inventions use solar power. Solar power comes from the sun. It can provide electricity to homes and other buildings. And here he is in his lab in Atlanta. One of Johnson's inventions is called the Johnson Thermo Electrochemical Converter, JTEC. This can change heat from the sun into electricity. The JTEC does not cost much. Johnson hopes that it will be used in homes and power plants. One day, it could even power a spacecraft. And then, oh, let's look at this. It says the magazine Popular Mechanics named the JTEC one of the top 10 new world-changing inventions in 2008. So he won another award. Wow. So many inventions. Johnson continues to invent new products. One invention curls and dries hair. He also created a portable multimedia projector. The projector has a DVD player, which plays movies, a channel tuner, and a remote control receiver. And you can see that, wow, that's the plan for that invention. And here's a super soaker from 2016. Look at that. Johnson continues to make toys. He has made many new versions of the Super Soaker. He has also invented foam darts for the Nerf brand at Hasbro. <gasps> Nerf stands for non-expanding recreational foam. I've seen that before. Have you seen that before, boys and girls? Whoa, he invented the darts for the Nerf gun. That's crazy. What an important inventor. Then it says years later, Johnson is always trying new things. Some of his ideas work and others don't. He has to use his invention when, he has to use his imagination when inventions fail. He tries over and over until the product works. Johnson applies for a patent for each one of his inventions. A patent is a document that proves the idea belongs to him. Getting a patent can take a long time but it is important to keep others from taking credit and getting money for his inventions. And over here, it says Johnson has more than 100 patents, and this is what a patent looks like. Johnson with his patent for the Super Soaker water toy. He did all that. He drew that. Community man. Johnson has four children. Today, he lives in Georgia with his wife, Linda Moore. Johnson is active in his community. He is one of the leaders of the Georgia Alliance for Children. 
This group protects the rights of children in the state. Johnson is also a member of the 100 Black Men of Atlanta. This group supports young Black students and helps pay for their education. And at the bottom, it says the mayor of Marietta, Georgia, declared February 25th, 1994, Lonnie G. Johnson Day. He got a day named after him. Johnson continues to speak about energy and environmental issues. Johnson has been very successful. He has earned a lot of money, but Johnson wants to keep working. He wants to encourage young inventors, and he knows there are still more inventions to create. In, let's see, in 2011, in 2011, Johnson was named to the State of Alabama Engineering Hall of Fame. And he says, I feel like I have been blessed with a talent or a skill. And what motivates me is to try to have a positive impact on the environment and people's quality of life. Wow. Boys and girls, I hope you enjoyed learning more about Lonnie Johnson. And if you type Lonnie Johnson into Epic, you'll find another book about him and the super soaking gun. Have a good day, boys and girls.